All right, boys and girls, how do I fix this? Come on, one-handed. There we go. We got 67. Almost 36. This one's 72. Thirty-six. So if anyone's ever curious, S18. I uh, had to rip off the battery. It's right here. You uh, take off the screws at the top. It's four screws. Screws at the bottom. Push it through the bottom. Pops out the top. And then there's this little uh, little cover covering the BMS. It is a massive BMS. Look at the size of that thing. It's the whole length of the board. And um, yeah, now you have to figure out which one of my cells is dodgy and charge it up and hopefully I'll be all good again so I tested every single cell and they're all 3.4 and I just checked the, the total and now it's at 71 so it's back in sync so I'm thinking maybe there's a shitty connection somewhere here because I literally opened it up and that's about it. Well, I can guess what the problem is. 67, packs back out. I'll push right here. 71, let it go. Right here. Push over here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Right here. 71. Now to find out. Which cell is that? No. Let's put that back over. No. You're the one. That's totally it. Problem with my 12. So it's this one right here. I took the back case off. Let's see how connected it is. <laughs> yeah, not connected at all. God damn, that's it. How am I going to connect that with that spot welder? Ah, shit. Poo. Alright, so I heated my soldering up as hot as I physically could with the jet lighter as well and put a quick dab on it and it seemed pretty strong. I don't think it'll just snap off. So I'm gonna I just scratch that a bunch with a knife just in there just to try and you know clean it up a little bit and help the nickel uh, be as exposed as possible. And then I'm gonna tap that wet, slam it down, and hopefully it'll uh, connect the two together. I might add a little bit more solder on this before it drips, I just don't want it to drip. But yeah, then hopefully if that sticks in properly and nicely, it'll be all good. And then I might just fill it with hot glue <laughs> just to make sure it doesn't doesn't move or if that's the least one to move. And then I, hopefully it'll all be good. So I just uh, hot glued along and then use this little stick to push it in before as it was still wet. Just push it all in just so that this can still close. So that can close and that is all hot glued together if you can see that. So another, like look at that no shaking at all nothing at all so hopefully they won't jump around and slowly loosen themselves until they wobble themselves to pieces and snap that looks a lot better I'm happy with that result alright so whilst I'm um, putting this back on I figured I'd take this opportunity to do a bit of uh, extra silicon and seal it back up a little extra because it looks like it did have some kind of silicon sort of sealant on it so if you ever have to do this make sure you put some some sort of waterproofing back on even though it looked like on the actual board it looked like it had that like clear um like waterproof layer sort of thing but you know extra is always best once i fixed the pack did a few jumps went to the skate park rode up a couple stairs and it's solid so if this has helped you like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one